Hello everyone and welcome to the Hylene Gamescast, the best Zelda podcast in the world. Today we're going to be discussing the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and giving our thoughts on clickbaity websites like this, who are responsible for spreading misinformation and straight up lies in the Zelda community. One of the main things that we try to do here on the Hylene Gamescast is put an end to clickbait like this. A lot of the information that we get for our videos actually comes directly from Nintendo. Most of the time we even show the interviews that the information comes from on the screen while we are discussing it. And sometimes we are actually the source of the news itself. Like a lot of the information that was revealed during our interviews with Patricia Somerset and the other voice actors from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. On yesterday's video we asked, what is your favorite forest temple or forest themed dungeon weapon? Our winner comes from Kakariko Cage, who answered, as for my favorite forest dungeon weapon, I'd say my favorite is the beetle. It was very useful for scouting ahead and planning attacks or dropping bombs onto the enemies. Of course, the hero's bow is more useful as a weapon, as it can be used with a variety of magic arrows and hitting switches from a distance, but the beetle is just a lot of fun to use. Today's Zelda mailbag question actually comes from one of our frequent guests, Holly Wolf. If you got sucked into the world of Hyrule, what race would you be and why? Remember to put your answers to this question in the comments below for a chance to have your answer featured on tomorrow's video. Hello everyone, I am Jesse, or Game Over Jesse as all of you may know me. Here with us is our friends Just Cliff and Mr. Gibbs. Hello. Hello. Uh, we also have our returning co-host, Mr. Bergerson or kept them Bergerson. Uh, today we have a really odd article. I hate articles like this. Uh, it's basically non-news is the best way I can put it. It is... I'd... It could probably just be called straight up clickbait, very similar to uh, when we get... A lot of people like to send us articles and stuff from different websites where it's like top five confirmed Zelda theories and then they talk about stuff that no one has ever confirmed or even thought of like uh, mm -hmm. I don't like it'll be something stupid like uh, Korok transforms mm -hmm. into a banana a banana confirmed mm -hmm. and it's like no that don't don't be stupid like you can't what happens next will shock you Exactly. So <laughs> Express.co, with this uh, line of thought, decided to write an article uh, by Liam Martin, it says here. Uh, but they say, Switch Games News, Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel confirmed ahead of caps. Nintendo Direct. Confirmed in all caps, by yes, the way. Yes, confirmed is in all caps. And then even adding onto that, it says confirmed ahead of Nintendo Direct. Which this, never happens. <laughs> this was no published <laughs> like two or three days ago. This was published. January 31st. Yep. Uh, and then they, they even went back and updated it uh, a few minutes later after it originally published. So keep that in mind. It says Nintendo Switch fans have been treated to some fantastic games news ahead of the rumored Direct conference. The next Legend of Zelda game has been confirmed by Nintendo, who are hiring more staff for the project. With production, now the hiring more staff is something that we already knew uh, from a while back. They are always hiring for new projects. If you follow them on Twitter, every single day they post uh, like a different web page for different people they are trying to hire to fill different positions, not just for Zelda, but many other games as well. But it says, uh, with production ramping up on the potential Breath of the Wild sequel, Nintendo has posted a new Legend of Zelda job advert. The Japanese job advert via Gaming Bolt is for a 3D terrain designer on the new game. A previous advert called for someone with experience in creating consumer games, which suggests the new release is for consoles. Nintendo making games for consoles, guys. Who would have thought? They, they, they really thought this was newsworthy. <laughs> I, I can't believe it. Game company is making games. Yeah, guys. Here's, 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 <laughs> the, here's the big <laughs> shocker, okay? So their headline, again, Switch Games News, Zelda Breath of the Wild 
SEQUEL CONFIRMED, in all caps, CONFIRMED, ahead of Nintendo Direct. A few paragraphs down, like not even five sentences down, it says, It's possible the next Zelda will serve as a sequel to Breath of the Wild, although it's likely to be a brand new entry. Hang on, Jesse, in the next... In the next paragraph, it says there's a slim chance that the new Zelda game could be unveiled during the January Nintendo Direct conference, and it goes on talking about that. This article was published on January 31st. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the article published on January 31st, and they this this is why I mentioned they went back to update it because they could this... have been smart and just removed all references to a January Direct or simply changed it to a February Direct. But they uh, didn't. Nintendo they, never said they were having a January effect, though. <laughs> yeah. But they, like, even if they were wrong about that, which obviously uh, they were, they could have went and updated it to just like, not mention the Direct or change yeah. it to a February Direct. But the way they oh, talk so. about it, they talk about it as if the Direct was confirmed and then Nintendo confirmed a Breath of the Wild sequel before the Direct actually happened. But then in their article, they say it's possible that it could be a sequel. <laughs> Yet yep. in their title, it says a Breath of the Wild sequel is confirmed. But then in their actual article, it says it's possible. possible. But then it says it's more likely it'll just be a brand new entry, not a sequel at all. Just another entry, like Ocarina of Time and Wind Waker, or Twilight Princess and Wind Waker, to where, like, technically... Twilight Princess is a sequel to Wind Waker because, like, it's a game that was made after, but in the sense of, like, Ocarina of Time to Majora's Mask, or even Ocarina of Time to Twilight Princess and Wind Waker, to where those are still sequels, they take place hundreds of years after Ocarina of Time, but technically they're still sequels. Or even a prequel. A lot of people would want a Breath of the Wild prequel, but this says CONFIRMED in capital letters in the title. They went back and updated it on the very last day of January, but didn't even bother removing any of the mentions of the January Nintendo Direct. This is the type of nonsense that gives people like us who actually go out of our way to interview people who actually worked on the different Zelda games. We've had a few of the different voice actors from Breath of the Wild before the podcast a long time ago. I became friends and had on a couple of videos Mike Drucker, who worked on Skyward Sword. He was actually the person who came up with the name for Groose. All of the Groose is loose memes, all of the parodies, all of the fun videos and stuff about Groose being loose or whatever, <laughs> is all basically linked back to him when he was in a meeting and they all decided the English names for all of the different characters when he used to work for Nintendo of America. Mm -hmm. He also worked on games like Mario Party and Mario Kart, I think. He did a lot of work on Kid Icarus Uprising, or whatever it was called for the 3DS. Yeah. But he worked on a, a lot of really great games. He talked about the... Oh, I don't remember if it was like a water balloon fight or like a paint maybe it was a paintball war that the the office nice. for nintendo of america had before they switched buildings because nice. uh, i think they were like going to demolish the building or like they were going to do something oh. with it and they were moving into a new office so the entire office just had like a giant paintball fight nuts yeah that's, at the that's nintendo. awesome yeah so like we actually try our best and we we do tons of research on interviews with Miyamoto and Alanuma and Fujibayashi and all of these other great people. Like, we actually do tons and tons of research for these videos on cancelled games and sequels that could have happened or bringing on people who actually worked on the games to talk to them to get information directly from them. So we're not just talking about stuff like this, where we're just getting secondhand news. We actually like to be the people who are responsible for sourcing the news that whenever people bring up an interview and they're like oh this uh like a bunch of websites the other day reported on 
uh, video that we did where we were just discussing casually like this about the cancelled Twilight Princess sequel that ended up turning into Skyward Sword and part of it turned into Link's crossbow training. There were like dozens and dozens of websites uh, because we were for the, the first uh, mention of the sequel in a long time since the actual mm -hmm. Iwata asks or Iwata asks where the information came from it wasn't built on speculation it was literally from the mouth of Miyamoto that's where we try to get all of our information but then there are these websites like this that are just putting up crappy clickbait that's just embarrassing and it gives people like us bad reputations like oh don't listen to youtube channels in the zelda community they don't know what they're talking about they're just clickbait because we get stupid people like this that just bring up complete nonsense and in their same article contradict exactly what the title says just to get people to go in and click on it really? and this is how you get misinformation to where there are the people that believe uh, like, it's okay. Uh, we always go back to the stupid Zelda theory of Link being dead in Majora's Mask, despite the creators of the game saying that if you believe the five stages of grief or that Link is dead in Majora's Mask, like the people who created the game literally saying you are playing the game wrong, if you think that. <laughs> because there are so many different emotions tied to so many of the different areas, it's not just one emotion for each of the areas. So... But there are people that they look at uh, videos from like Game Theory or MatPat to where they're like, oh, they have millions of subscribers. This view or this video has hundreds of thousands of views. It must be true. Otherwise, why would he have so many subscribers? And then you get people commenting on our videos where we use actual facts and interviews and stuff given by the people who actually made the games and worked on the games. And there are, like, you'll see comments from people telling us that we're stupid or that we're posting clickbait because we're saying one thing when they believe something else. But what we are saying can actually be sourced back to the interview where we had with uh, the voice actors from the game, the interviews that I had with the other people that worked on different games, the interviews where we went back and researched the Iwata asks and stuff like there's a few people that have commented on some videos where uh, we did like the top five canceled gaming videos and it's someone being like oh well this thing never existed this was just made up and it's like you can literally look at the video and there's an interview with Miyamoto talking about the game being canceled but yeah, you're but saying honor was spelled wrong yeah honorable <laughs> no but like it's 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 like you can take someone mm -hmm. a like you could say this uh i could post a video saying this drumstick was signed by escape the fate uh one of my favorite bands that i was actually able to become friends with the drummer we can see the signature right here i have pictures and everything videos uh i have Sounds a podcast I don't I know. Have, <laughs> no, I, I was on a bunch of their... Uh, they have their own podcast. I, don't I was think on a so. bunch of their episodes. That sounds they fake, were on, They were That's on... <laughs> this is clickbait. Interviews. <laughs> they were on interviews on my channel. I could post one of those videos, and there would still be someone dumb enough to be like, this is clickbait, this is made up, you don't know them, yeah. blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you can literally see like the videos there, like they're talking about... Whatever. I don't know, it's, it's stupid. People yeah. are it's embarrassingly funny, dumb. Our friend Ilya, the Geek Apprentice, uh, says in the chat, the article sounds like it was the style of a student who has a 25-page thesis due in two days, and he hasn't done any research yet. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I agree. I, yeah. I, that's the thing, too, yeah. It does it? It's just frustrating too because not only is this uh, news article that contradicts itself it makes no sense but it's also news about something that we've already known about for months um and is like even even if nintendo never announced that they were working on a new zelda game or something we kind of can make the assumption that they are because every time they finish a game and it releases they take like a weekend off and then they're starting the next game 
like right away consistently yeah. so it's like we can always it's always a safe assumption that they're going to be working on the next zelda game um yeah a lot yeah, of the times just... they've uh they begin the next zelda game months before the prior zelda game even finishes and uh, a lot of times they have three to four different zelda games or three to four different mario games well probably like 10 different mario games mm -hmm. all in development at the same time because they have all of the different mario spin-offs like mario party mario kart mario tetris dr mario mario whatever uh so they have all of these different like 10 mario games in development at the same time mm -hmm. but with zelda they always have their handheld team that is always working on a zelda game they have their home console zelda team that is always working on a zelda game mm -hmm. and lately they've been having their home console team or their handheld teams working on like two different games at once like they worked on wind waker hd alongside the pre-production of breath of the wild they worked mm -hmm. on uh triforce heroes along with grezzo who grezzo was also working on majora's mask 3d at that same time they had tantalus working on twilight princess hd at that same time they had uh team ninja or koei tecmo whoever working on hyrule warriors who at the same time they were working on hyrule warriors they were also working on the 3ds version hyrule warriors legends so like at that one period in time nintendo had like seven different zelda games all in development at the exact same time but there's a lot of people that think Nintendo, like, oh, they only work on one Zelda game, and they only release one Zelda game every year, when realistically we get one to two different Zelda games every single year. A lot of people forget Hyrule Warriors released on Switch last year. That was last year's game. Before that, we had Breath of the Wild. Before that, we had Twilight Princess and Majora's Mask in the same year. So, I think it was the same year. But you guys get what I'm saying. Yeah. Hyrule Warriors and stuff, yeah. but yeah, basically, uh, we can go to the next news story, right? We don't have to keep talking about this. Daniel, tell yeah, us about Doctor Mario wrong. World. Doctor Mario World's coming out. Our final news story. <laughs> that's that's the news. Oh yeah. Wait, but before before we get to that, there mm -hmm. was a news story. Like I literally titled it "New Unannounced 2009 Switch Games," because Nintendo had an interview where, guess what, <laughs> they said they were. They had an unannounced game planned for 2019 what? that would make fans happy. Game company is making games? Yeah, uh, who would have thought Nintendo is <laughs> working on a game for the Switch that they haven't announced yet? What? When re realistically they have like 30 different games in development that they haven't announced. Are you saying so, that game company makes games yeah. often? But that, that was another thing that everyone was reporting on this. What? And yeah. it's like yeah why it's one throwaway sentence like this is non news like if you didn't know this you should be embarrassed that's like a clothing company saying they're releasing a new shirt design it's like well of course they are like guess what else toyota's going to be making more cars next year like it's i i imagine um i used to, you know for for those longtime fans i used to work in a coffee shop for about six years just imagine every morning we'd come out we'd brew some coffee first thing in the morning no you, you had just a, imagine, a press release saying imagine that the you were journalists going to be bursting through the doors day. oh my god the coffee shop's brewing coffee <laughs> <laughs> and i'm like yeah we do it every day and they're like get this to the press now coffee shop is brewing coffee tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah. Of course but we anyways, are. Yeah. Dr. Mario World. Yes. I gotta pull that uh, that bad boy up here. <clears throat> Where's Mario? This Mar is our last news story, guys. After this, we're going to be explaining the giveaway that you can help us with, and the giveaway where we are giving away the signed copies of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Not signed by us, which is what Stealth, I guess, thought on Twitter. But no, it's mm -hmm. signed by... Uh, Patricia and Sean. Sean being so cool, he was the one, like, no one asked yeah. him to sign it. He just commented on it and was like, hey, if you send it to me, I'll sign it too. Yep. I'm like, that works. <laughs> like, sure. That's how it's cool a, he is. Pretty cool. He's a cool dude. He's a yeah, real yeah, good yeah. dude. 
No, he um, he should sign it because he humiliated all of us playing Smash Bros. <laughs> <laughs> Rip. Hey everyone, it's me again, Elia Rose. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. And you know what? If you're a fan of videos like this, you should totally subscribe and give this video a like and comment below to let us know what type of videos you would like to see us create in the future. And if you would really like to support all of us here at the Game Over Jesse channel, please consider purchasing a Game Over Jesse t-shirt or becoming a Patreon at patreon.com slash gameoverjesse, where you can receive many rewards, such as getting shoutouts, having any topic or theory that you select discussed on the podcast or made into its own video, having your question answered, joining on as a guest on the podcast, and playing with us during our Twitch live streams at twitch.tv slash gameoverjesse, and much, much more. <laughs>